Hi, good morning and good evening. You are watching main film tutorial. This is Kumar. This is Quask of Cobol tutorial 7. In my last video, we have seen a set of perform statements and the, what the exactly the important usage of perform. So in this video, we will be discussing about what is inline perform and what are the outline performs and the different kinds of perform we use in the day to day real life programming. So inline pro inline perform, inline perform. It's if a set of statements used only in one place, then we can merge all of them or group all of them within perform and end perform structure. Then it is called as an inline perform. So for example, so I wanted to add, multiply, divide, and sort of do other operations. So I can go ahead and use perform add x to y perform multiple y to z e y by z and display z so here the group of statements combined together or group together forms an inline performs perform was is starting at the perform and it should always end with end perform so that was about the inline perform and uh, what is outline perform a set of statement merged together and placed in different different than the different place merged together and placed in a different place placed in different and will call them using a paragraph when required is called outline perform to say in a simple way there are a group of statements which you want to call them repeatedly so instead of coding multiple inline performs so what you can do is you can code it in a particular paragraph and you can call that paragraph which is called as an outline perform i hope we discussed this point in earlier so this perform is called as an outline perform so for example perform paragraph one display paragraph one executed then stop run so when we call this it will goes to this particular paragraph it uh, executes all the statements and then it come back to this position the original and it displays and it stops executing the program perform paragraph one through paragraph paragraph one through paragraph n and this all the paragraphs between paragraph one and paragraph n are executed for example I want to read I, wa I have a two paragraphs called read paragraph and note paragraphs so it will make sure that the set of statements between these two paras are executed successfully so it gives the user readability and the programmer understandability if I for example in 2014 as a I'm programmer Kumar has written this COBOL or a few days or a few years if someone is reading this program it should be understandable it should be in a readable way so that he can do some modification to the existing program when the new program comes so for better understanding you should have the read paras and the n paras and you can code it according to the standards which is meaningful which gives a meaningful so the perform read para through read para end and perform out para through out para end and then start para. When we call the read para, it goes to the read para, accept x, accept y, then read para. It is always should start with exit. When it exits, it goes back to the position here and it comes to the next statement. That is perform out para, it comes to the out para, then display x, display b, out para end, exit. This always, uh, and through the exit statement exit command then it comes to here then goes to stop run that was about the through the next one is the times perform perform para one this is like uh, if you want to repeat the paragraph many times so then you can code this but then you can use the times para Below is an example, below is a syntax, perform, para1 through, para n, n times and can be literal, defined in a numeric item, it's working storage or hard-coded constant. For example, 
I have a I have a file which is uh, which I know that it is having exactly of 10 records so instead of coding multiple perform statements or multiple paragraphs to read it each to read 10 uh, 10 uh, 10 records what I can simply do is perform read para through read para and 10 times so it will it will continuously read the 10 records from the file and it executes it or else you can declare when you are not sure when you are not sure how many records it's uh, when how many records the file has then you can declare a variable called ws number where it can count the, the above statements it might count the number of records in the input file and uh, it performs it accordingly perform until until perform it is similar uh, it is similar way to times but it's a slight difference that we here you we use a until keyword this type of perform is used to execute statements based on the condition if condition is false if condition is false statements are executed if condition is true statement will be bypass for example I'm moving one to I perform para one through para one and until I equal to 10 in the same way we can use varying perform perform para one through para and varying identify it is similar to until here we can assign the values directly that needs to be incremented by using from and by keywords example perform para one through para and varying from one by one until I equal to five in the same way perform para one through para one and varying from ten by five until I equal to five and the above you can see that from one by one it increments only one one by one so it iterates it loops the perform for, for five times in the same way you can uh, it, 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 uh, it is starting from 10 it increments the values by 5 until i is equals to 500 all the above different kinds of performs can also be used in inline perform so this was all about the different kinds of perform we used in outline perform this can the same thing can be used in the inline perform what are the f different kinds of perform we studied so the first one is uh, para through perform through and uh, perform times perform until perform varying so these are the various kinds of performs we studied so in the same way let us look at the examples for the inline performs so perform statement one statement two this is a simple perform perform times perform 10 times 1 2 3 statements and perform in the same way perform until move 1 to i perform until i greater than 5 statement 1 statement 2 and, and perform the same way for perform varying perform varying from 1 by 1 until i greater than 5 statement 1 statement 2 and and perform so that's all about the performs different kinds of performs we use in our cobol program Thank you for watching. Have a great and wonderful day. I will be coming up with a more videos on the COBOL where we can see a different kind of. In the next video, mostly I will be covering about the what is the importance of files and how do we how do we use these files? What are the different kinds of files we have? Ready record base. What are the fields, records, and everything? And we will see a sample COBOL program. Uh, once we complete the files so thank you for watching and have a great and wonderful day